All right, so many of you have issues like this where you're trying to rotate the orientation and nothing happens. So to see what you guys are seeing, I went and deleted my Adobe Reader and downloaded the current version to make sure I'm running the same thing as you. And the Adobe Acrobat Reader is the full name. When you go to the website, make sure you uncheck these two boxes here so you don't get any spam. Now after it downloads and everything, we'll jump back to it. And while this is installing, I just want to point out that this install includes the Acrobat Reader as well as a new Chrome edition. And we'll touch on that later on in the video. Now that mine's installed, I'm going to open up an example of what the eBay or stamps.com or usbs.com label looks like when we download it. These pop ups out of the way. Alright, so normally we would go down to edit, more, take a snapshot. All right, we got the snapshot here, and we can go ahead and print. All right, and of course you have to select your the proper printer. And in my last tutorial, I showed you just rotate it, the orientation, and that does not seem to be working anymore. So next. You'll have to go into view and rotate there. Now you see the paper is rotated counterclockwise. Do the snapshot again, select the printer, and everything's set. If this doesn't work for you, please let me know in the comments and let me know what version you're running if you can. And I'll try to make an updated video for your specific setup. So there's a couple other places like right here and here where you can click rotate. This takes you to the Chrome version of the Acrobat Reader. And in this one, you can crop your image as well. And I want to show you that now. So once a page loads like this, you'll drag and drop your file into the browser. Well, it has to be inside the organized pages little box. So I'll have to try again for that. And with it loaded, you can click the little button here and rotate it. And then you hit save. After it saves, it'll load it up. And then you can have a few more options or you can export it back to your computer to print. But while you're here, I recommend going to edit and then you can come down to crop page and you can actually crop it so that the only thing visible is the label that you need. So if you're going to need to print something over and over, I recommend this over doing it within Adobe Reader because now you can export it and save it and every time you need to print it, it's already set up ready to go. That wraps it up for this one. If you have any questions, suggestions, leave them all in the comments. We appreciate your likes and subscribes, and we'll see you in the next one.